Hey guys, it's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my fall go-to makeup look. Um, it's pretty natural. I usually go for the natural look. Um, I don't do anything crazy, but sometimes I just switch up my products. So I just wanted to show you guys what I do. And yeah, so if you're interested in seeing what I do for my fall makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is put on some chapstick. Um, and I'm just going to put on the Laneige sleeping mask. And if I'm looking over there, it's because there's a mirror there. So, And then what I usually like to do before I put on any makeup is I like to moisturize my face. So I'm just going to put on my favorite moisturizer, the Clinique Moisture Surge. The next thing that I'm going to do is prime my face and I'm just going to be using the Too Faced Hangover RX. You usually use the Benefit Professional. I really like that one. That has to be my favorite, but I got this one. The next thing that I use in usually the fall and winter time is tinted moisturizer. Just because, you know, like I'm getting pale and I usually don't like to wear foundation. So I like to go in with a tinted moisturizer. This one is by Laura Mercier and it's the tinted moisturizer, the oil free one. And I have this one in the shade Bisque. And I just put it on like this little flat brush. And I only put a little bit on. So I'm just gonna probably like that much. I don't really put a lot on. And then I just put some here. And then on my neck. And then I just mix it in. <laughs> do is that I'm gonna go in with my hello fab bendy avocado concealer this stuff is really good I just got it and I am literally obsessed with it and I'm in the shade I was in the shade light I got it in the shade light so I only put like a tiny bit on just because I don't I'll cover up this little guy like anywhere where I just have like little blemishes um, and then I just go in with my damp beauty blender and this stuff is super blendable so I would recommend the bendy avocado concealer by first aid beauty it's really really good Next thing is I'm going to set my concealer and my tinted moisturizer and I just use the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and just do that and then depending how I'm feeling I'll either use my beauty blender or like a brush I think I'll just use like a brush today and I just use like this big fluffy brush do a little bit and tap it off because this stuff picks up a lot everywhere after that um, I'm gonna go in with bronzer and I have three but recently I've been loving the butter bronzer by physicians formula it's just like a really pretty subtle bronze and I really like it and it's super affordable so I'm just gonna go in first like all over my face which I what I usually do use a different brush and I'll contour I'm not the best at contouring I don't really know what I'm doing um, so I just go for it and I just go up here that's definitely not how you do it then after bronzer I'm gonna use blush and oh i'm bleeding that's cool anyways the next thing um that i go in is with blush and 
Usually in the summertime, I use a cream blush. Um, I also use that in, in the fall time, but um, I think I'm just going to use a powder today. I use the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. And I've been obsessed with this one lately. And I just tap it in here. And then what I do when I put blush on is I just smile. Like this. And then I put it on the apples of my cheeks. And this is what I do. Kind of go in like circular motions. I don't know why, but I just do. And then I like to put some like on my nose to give it like that sun burnt look and then after blush I go in with highlighter and I typically always just use a cream highlighter just because I feel like it looks more natural so I use the benefit what's up highlighter just like a really just a cream highlighter that's what it looks like I've used this a bunch. I've used this in like my last video and all that. Um, but another favorite is the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops Highlighter. This one's also really, really pretty. And I'm just going to spray my face first just so that it goes on a lot easier and just melts into my skin. So I'm gonna use the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. This stuff smells so super good um it smells like oranges obviously because it's a nectar water but what i like about it is it's not like a like you push to spray and it like kind of spritzes out this one's just a mist so like that's what i use i like it a lot better so i'm just gonna spray my face quick and then i just use my middle finger get it on and then tap it into my skin on my cheekbones and then I also put some on the tip of my nose and down it so after highlighter um, I usually do my eyebrows and what I use is the benefit 24-hour brow setter this is just a clear brow gel so um, I used the Glossy A Boy Brow before and I went through two of them and I really liked that one but I ran out and I just didn't feel like ordering another one and then waiting for it to come so I just picked this one up at Sephora and honestly I like this one a lot better just because the bristles on it are like better <laughs> so yeah um, I don't really put on eyeshadow ever because I just I don't really if I do I'll put in um, like bronzer in my eyebrow or in my eye on my eyelid the next thing is mascara and I just use the bad gal bang by benefit like it's not focusing but um, if you can't tell I love benefit and I only do like a little bit of mascara because I don't like the feeling and this is typically the finished look that I do for my makeup but if I'm feeling like I want to put a little extra in I'll put on this MAC lipstick I forget which collection this one is from it's from the collection that they all have like this um, like ombre shade in it on like on the covering and this one's in the shade Tress Blase love me lipstick I don't want to botch that which I probably did so I just put this on and it's just like a really pretty like mauvey pinkish brownish color so I'll put like a little bit on and then over top it I'll put the Laneige lip mask on just so it gives it like a little bit of a gloss so it's like a gloss and a tint so this is the finished look for my fall makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video and this little natural 
makeup look for fall. If you're interested in anything, I'll leave everything linked down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I'm doing the 30 day challenge. I don't know which day this is gonna be when I put it up, but yeah, so I'm just posting every day in November for 30 days. So yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down which videos you would like to see from me in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.